This weekend, you can enjoy an evening of celestial wonders and hands-on learning about the art and science of traditional Hawaiian navigation. Yeah, it's super cool. Chris Latronic joins us live in Kaka'ako with more. Good morning, Chris. Good morning to you, Sarah, Sam, and everybody on this Aloha Thursday, Friday's Eve, with a great event happening this Saturday. Lots of uh, happening in the celestial sky. We saw the eclipse just like a few weeks ago. Uh, we have a comet that's in our midst, and Ohana stargazing happening this week. Here to tell us more is Pua Lani Hau uh, the, with the Kamehameha Schools. Uh, lots to see this, uh, this uh, not this evening, but actually we saw this morning, but this weekend, right? Yes, it's going to be tomorrow, October 12th, from 6 to 9 p.m. right here on the top of Salt Parking Garage. We're going to have a lot of fun activities, but also learning, because that's a priority for Kamehameha yes. Schools. But it's also a chance for uh, the, oh, 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 sorry, the, oh, the whole Ohana to actually learn and see what's up in the night sky. Mm -hmm. And uh, the star is super important to Hawaiian tradition, Hawaiian wayfinding, and there's a cool incentive with uh, this, what is this, the Nahoku Navigator Challenge. Tell us about that. Yes, you can go to the different booths, you can collect stars, and you can get a chance to, to enter to win a a, a chance to win for four to the Imiloa Astronomy Center right on the Big Island. That includes hotel and airfare. There is also a first prize uh, for the uh, a family to win for the Bishop Museum. Mm -hmm. And that's great to have that all Hana pack. Thank you so much, Pulani. But it's also about learning about uh, Hawaiian navigation. Here we are with Ka'iolani, who's actually a Hokulea navigator. Tell us what we can learn this coming weekend. Uh, well, we're going to check out the sky and we're going to hope for clear, no clouds. So we'll see what stars are in the sky. Um, we can learn about the Hawaiian star compass, how we use those stars to navigate voyaging canoes like Hokulea. Yes, and it's still just amazing to think about that and how the old Hawaiians did that and how the Hokulea is still doing that. So tell me a little bit about this uh, compass. Well, this uh, Hawaiian star compass is kind of a way for us to organize when we see stars rising and setting. We get directional clues so mm -hmm. we can keep ourselves on course while we're while we're out at sea. That is amazing. Okay, so uh, we're this is actually set up right. We are facing north. So uh, mm -hmm. how does this actually work? Uh, yeah, so it's the circle of the compass is really the circle of horizon around you. Mm -hmm. um, so you are in the center of the circle. You can imagine without any of these buildings or the or even being on the island if you're mm -hmm. in the middle of the ocean, right. um, trying to figure out where you're going. The main um, celestial clue, the most important one, is the sun, which is coming up now. But we are going to see on Saturday night. We'll watch it set, so we'll mm -hmm. kind of orient ourselves by that, and then we'll be able to know where all of the rest of our directions are. How, how important is the path? on these Hawaiian traditions? Oh, it's so important. You know, it was sleeping for generations. We had Papa Mao Piailu come and kind of help us relearn this, mm -hmm. this art that we know our kupuna were so skilled at. So right. it's um, important to kind of keep that legacy going. Yes, and we mahalo you uh, for everything you do as well as everybody on the Hokulea. Thank you so much, Ka'iolani. That's what's all happening. So much to learn this weekend. We'll have more information on our website at khun2.com all about the Ohana stargazing right here at Salt at our Kaka'ako. This is Chris Atronic working for Hawaii. Sending things back to you guys.